can you understand the video in I do. Not everybody can. Uh, I can. Okay, so we're watching G Bay, the boy. Our boy who we coached up. Our little pupil, you know. We, we're gonna watch him grow. He's going level one. He haven't skilled anything. What's he against? He's against his gangplank. He wants to skill Q. Right, guys. If, if you're changing GB, he should be skilling Q right here. Skilling Q would be very good. Um, We're gonna watch the normal speed, obviously, because we have to wait. I'm not gonna play the game. Fuck that. I'm, I'm just gonna watch this. We, we can just speed up the beginning here. It doesn't matter. Um, But yeah, let's go up and look at GB, our boy. We have to watch the normal speed because it's a live game that's going on right now. And nobody knows we're watching this. We're just being creepy stalkers. We like it. It's very good. Alright. He's just walking around, checking the jungle. I, I personally don't like this just because, first of all, I'm lazy. And second of all, it's unnecessary. I don't like the fact that he started E. He started E against a gangplank. You're supposed to start Q against GP and you're supposed to push him and pressure him. You don't need to start E. E is just very defensive. There's no need. You don't get any benefit of having E right now. Um, look, look how passive he's playing. He's just getting bullied right now. What's the items? Oh, I didn't want to pause. Items, same items. He just started E being, is being useless, basically. The best device I got off this stream so far is the wave control link. The enemy hit me, so it pushed it into me. I went from silver 4 to G3 in like a month of playing. I also played less whiskey. Go for CS more than kills. Cheers for all the tips. No problem, dude. I'm happy to help you. Like, I'm actually trying to... Figure out the best way to coach people in a way that they can apply it straight away, right? I want everything to be as simple as possible. So I understand it the second I say they're like, okay, this, I do this, you know. They need to be able to have an easy time saying it. Because if it's very complicated, I wouldn't be able to remember. They won't be able to remember. And they won't be able to use it in every situation. Um, I'm going to write to GB and ask him why he started E against a gangplank. That's terrible. And now he's finding him in the middle of a thousand minions. This is not good, GB. You're basically getting bullied by a guy you should be beating. You're bullied really hard, dude. You're fucked right now. You're actually really fucked, GB. You're mindlessly fighting him in the middle of a thousand minions. And you started E. This is not very good. You don't want a lot of these things. It's not looking good for you now, GB. Oh, that's a good trade. You have the minion back. We have the minion back. Fight him. Fight him, GB. Go on him. Uh, oh, baby. That's what I like seeing right there. You had the minions. You went on him. And you fucking clapped him. It was a bit slow, it could have been cleaner, you could have killed him without using flash, you wouldn't have flashed either, and it would have all been better. So then you wouldn't die to the JFO is coming, however the JFO might not be able to get you, Ow! he barely gets you. That was a uh, close one. Um, Greg has, might be able to turn this, now is coming, it depends how this play, probably not, probably not, but he is going for the turn. He's gonna run, he's gonna fucking get the hell out of there. So I think GBA could have played this better, it was not clean, um, the result isn't that terrible, the wave is still frozen to GBA, is it? Four or five nodes not frozen to the GP. GP wins out. Um, depending on who loses the most minions here now. GP, get to the fucking lane. Get up here. Get that money. Get all this goods money. Get up there, dude. You got this. All right. You're, you're good. So, I do believe that GB should have skill the Q. Would have been better of him. E doesn't benefit him. Uh, he's behind now because he messed up the things. Small spits here and there. But one thing I will say. GP is behind. He's going him here. This is good. This is fine. There's too many minions, though. But it's still a good trade, right? Because it really beats GP, as you can see. It really beats GP really hard. Um, the thing I'd like to point out is that GB and GP both use teleports. GP does not have Sheen. That is huge. If you can force GP to um, Gangplank to base without buying Sheen, that is a huge advantage already because he needs Sheen. Like, uh, people talk about Sheen being good and not really and everything. Um, oh shit, this is a risky play, but it works. It's good. No, thing there just a bit too risky for my taste, but you get the kill, you get the kill, and it's great. That's nothing to talk about. But anyways, back to the Sheen. Sheen is so much more important than GP than it's not really. <clears throat> Do you think that people like just can't get coached and never really learn? I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. Coaching and no game play today. I will play today. I'm just watching this game because GP is playing live right now. I'm not coaching. I'm just watching for my own enjoyment. I'm just having fun, you know. <laughs> For sure he's streaming and his followers told him that you're watching the precious world. Wait, really? I don't know if that's the case. Um, his item buys. He doesn't buy to watch Sheen. I like Sheen a lot. But he does buy very useful aggressive items. It's all aggressive. I like that. I like the fact that he's ahead right now. And he's going aggressive items. He's going for the two daggers. 
and he's going for the long sword, and then you got a Doran's blade in there, which I don't really like the Doran's blade, but he had that earlier thing. Um, overall, pretty good. He gets a pink water as well, which I think is very valuable. He needs that pink water right now. Also good. Puts it down. I don't like this pink ward. That wasn't the pink ward, so I do like this ward. I'm talking shit right now. Um, if he had placed the pink rear, if he had placed the pink right here, it would have been awful. Because GP is pushing to him, and he can't probably protect it. So, a pink here is bad. Putting a normal ward here is very good. Props to GP. I thought he would put the pink. My bad there. My bad. I'll admit it. Um, GP is sick soon. Don't look to kill him. Don't push this wave. Keep it frozen. Fin it out. Finning it out is very, very good. GP is finning it so far. That's perfect. You want to fin it out. Now you're six. This is bad. You should have been looking to kill him the second you leveled up to six because he doesn't expect it. You still end up getting a kill because this guy's an absolute moron. You miss an ultimate. That sucks. But at the end of the day, the play is all good, but it could have been cleaner. You want to, the second you hit six, you want to already be jumping on the minion and be in GP's face because he doesn't know when you're leveling up. And it's more likely for him to overstep at that moment in time instead of waiting till you're six and then going, right? Because he knows you're six, which is much more dangerous. Right, let's see what he does. He just freezes here. Freezing is the perfect choice. You want to freeze as hard as possible. You do not want to thin out this wave. Don't thin it out. Don't do it, GB. Don't thin it out. Oh my god, GB. Stop thinning it out. Good boy. You want as many minions as possible. So their minions will kill you as faster, which means he might lose one or two extra minions. Um, at this point, what, what GB should be doing, what he is, isn't doing, is something a lot of people won't think about. Make every single minion low. When GB is back... You Q, 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 on all the minions, so you smash your keyboard, you just fucking take your keyboard and you just smash your Q button, right? That works. Okay, now I clicked a lot of random shit, I don't know how I get this away, Th that way, that worked. You smash that Q button and all the creeps die, like bam, they're all gone. That's all you have to do. But you need to make them low first and you have the full pressure. It's the more optimized way to do it and you'll make him lose one to two extra minions. But this only works now really, right? It's very, uh, really eccentric. Um... But yeah, you can literally just fucking smash your keyboard there. Good boy, making taking that poke is not very good. It's, you obviously want to avoid it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much. Trying to take that one is very good. If he doesn't take it, he loses a bit of health. That sucks. But if he does take it, he wastes all of GP's pressure. So you need to go and try and take it. It's very good. Uh, keep freezing. Freezing is good. Fin it out a little, maybe kill one minion. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill one minion. It's a bit too big. I wouldn't miss my Q that that sucks. Or oh, maybe I would. Maybe I suck too, but that happens. Um... Getting him a minion, that's fine. You wasted a little bit of mana, which sucks, but it's not a big deal. It's okay to do that. Missing some minions, that's fine as well. What else? It's all good. You're doing very, very well right now. Um, at this point, GP have two options. Either he keep freezing, or he stacks up a wave and gets the jungler to come top, and they try to go for a dive and take tower and maybe Herald. A Herald is obviously not spawned yet, but it's going to spawn in a minute. Um, so either you keep freezing, or you start stacking up a wave. The, frost, the freeze is broken at this point, so you start stacking. Now you need to communicate with the jungler. Tell your jungler. Yo, dude, I'm gonna look for dive top. Get up, you bitch. And fat boy Greg is gonna be like, okay. And then they're gonna set up this nice play. This is bad. You don't wanna go for play. This is fine if you don't go for play. You dodge it. That's okay. This is all of all a bit greedy, but you should be able to kill GP there. Go for the GP. Go for the GP. Ah, uh, you went for the wrong guy. Should have gone for the GP there. Um, he's easier to kill. He's lower level. He's weaker. Much, much easier to kill. Jowen all uses EQ combo, so killing GP will stop um, gangplank uh, for using his abilities. Whatever. It's fine. He doesn't die. He's not in a bad situation. He could have done more there, but it works out for him. At this point, he wants to make a slow push here. Just keep blasting here. Keep blasting. Keep blasting. Last it. Last. No, 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 no. That's pushing. God damn it. You did it wrong. You should last it there. And then once this wave comes, you push, 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 push. Unless you're diving. If you're diving, then you can slow push it. And then smash it into the Gragas and you kill. You have those two options, right? Gregs is coming, so he's obviously going for the dive. The push is too slow. It could have been faster. He's wasting some time here, which is not so good. Um, Gregus ends up going alone because Greg is a big fat dude who just wants to have his body slamming into fat guys. I don't fucking know what the hell they're doing here, but at the end of the day, it's going to work. It's fine. It's all good. GP plays as well. All good and nice. Um, the, the things I'm complaining about what GP is doing are very, very, very small. So even if I'm saying something he's doing is wrong, it's like details, you know, it's details. If I play a game, I'll do some of this stuff wrong too. Because I'm having hindsight. I can look at the replay and look back, you're doing this wrong. I can see everything, you know what I mean? It's really easy. Alright, let's see what's going on. Bot lane stuff is going on. GB have TB, but he can't use it. Lulu is dead. 
Push this in as fast as possible and do Herald. Do the Herald. Do the Herald. I've been talking to you, you a lot about getting that Herald. Go do the Herald. Go do the Herald. You can even solo it. You can even fucking solo this Herald. Don't. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. You had a free Herald here, dude. You had a free Herald. What is he basing to buy? He got 2% K. He doesn't have Trinity, right? He shouldn't have Trinity, does he? I don't think so. This is like 900 gold. He shouldn't have Trinity. No, no, no. Yeah, see, he doesn't have Trinity. He's gonna have... Oh, he actually does Trinity if he sells his pink ward. Well... Okay, he gets 20 force. If he had done the Herald, he wouldn't have to sell his pink ward. And he would have a Herald buff. He would have a lot of pressure on the map right now. He should definitely have taken Herald buff. It would have been so good for him. He could force a tower wherever he wanted to. He would get so much advantage. They could free dragon. They could get whatever they want. Uh, and he would have a pink ward as well. Which he doesn't now. Hmm. Alright, let's see what he does. Let's see what our boy Jibay does. He walks up. That's good. He walks through mid to top. This is something I told him. Which I think is really good. He walks through mid. Look, look at this. He takes this path through mid. Let's say something happens mid. He sees something mid. Bam, he can run there. See, he needs to go top. Bam, he just goes all the way top. And he can place wards on the way. Which he did. He placed a ward right here. It's a good ward. Um, I'd have tried to probably put a ward down here as well. Or here. But a ward, very nice. Very nice. I really like that. I really, really like all of this. This is good. Uh, hard push the next one. You can push this one already. And then just shove it in, shove it in, shove it in, shove it in, shove it in. Do it. Do the way I told you. Do the way I told you. Yeah, baby. Oh, baby. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You can use your W for this. Um, you don't have to save your W. It's a little bit of mana. It's fine. Now, don't go for the tower necessarily. Unless you want to dive. If you want to dive, go for it. You can actually dive him. You can straight up just kill him. So this is fine. Um, if you want to dive, it's always fine. If you don't want to kill him, then don't, don't even be here. d is here. He goes for the kill. This is what I told him as well. It's very good. Gets a clean kill. It's a clean kill. Clap team gets a ward out to be safe and just goes back and hammers this tower down. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And you know, I don't even know what's happening, but I can already read the situation because I've taught him a lot of this stuff, right? I can read mostly what he's thinking in these situations and he's doing it well, right? All of the things I've predicted so far is things he's been doing. He's literally been doing everything I've predicted so far. He gets the tower, he gets the kills, he's dominating, everything is great. There's some small things here and there that's I've changed, but overall I think it's good. Ella said that watching the water for winning game is better because the players think they didn't make mistakes and the most important mistakes to fix and get a coach for are the ones you don't notice. Oh, he just clapped somebody. I didn't even notice this. I was just reading the chat. But anyways, it's obviously it's good. Uh, nothing much to say about that. But I do agree. A winning game is mostly better to coach because if you're literally just stomping a game, it, but it, it depends. It needs to be a winning game that isn't clean. Or, but it can also be a losing game that isn't clean, right? It doesn't matter too much. As long... I think the most important aspect, if you want to coach a game, the most important aspect is there's a game where you think you played well, right? It doesn't matter if you lose a win at the end of the day. It, what matters is if you played well. If you come into the game and you're like, I fucking played like shit this game. I had a headache. My eyes were dizzy. I wasn't feeling well. Obviously, you're going to play like shit, right? It doesn't matter how good you are at the game. You're going to play like shit. And coaching will point out, ah, oh, you fucked up there and you fucked up there. But you're fucking up because you're dizzy, tired or whatever. Which... I can't really help you with it, right? If you if that's how you're feeling at that time, then the coaching isn't going to be beneficial. You need to be caught in times where you're playing good. And look at what Jibe did again. He comes through this side again. It's beautiful, Jibe. I like it. And what happens? Ori is able to get ganked, and you go for the gank. You clap Ori. Next, you kill this guy as well. Maybe you should kill him. You should go for him. You should go for him. Right on. Bam, bam, go. You burn a flash. Great. And this is why I always recommend taking this pathing if you're going back to top lane after the first tower is down, right? It obviously there's some situations where you just want to run top, but this path is generally really good. Jeeva is absolutely destroying this game. He's clapping people. Um, guys, should we keep watching the game or should we stop? Because he's absolutely fucking dumpstering this GP, right? Um, this shouldn't be any way for GP to come back. The only thing I would say that GP is doing bad is again, he is not prioritizing Herald. That is the main thing. If I have to comment on things that GP have done bad this game, if you go into details, he skilled E level 1, I'll go for Q. I think E is bad. And then he didn't take Herald at minute 8.45, I believe it was. Something like that. Um, going for a play here is not necessarily good. As long as he knows he can get out, it's fine. But you don't need to make this plays. You waste your ultimate. They use nothing. Look, they use absolute fucking nothing. They have all this shit. They're full health. They don't care about this shit. And you put yourself in a situation where you can die. You don't need to make this play. It's not that good. Um, it's not that horrible. It didn't backfire. But it could have backfired, right? Instead, get some vision, get some wards. You could have cleaned this pink ward, for example. This one could have been killed. Uh, you're killing crap, this is good. Go get some vision, focus on the wards. 
Going back to the top to clean. That's also fine. This is fine. Clean the wave safely. Don't look for the kill. Do not look for the kill, Jibei. Don't be a greedy cunt now. Jibei, not... Oh my god, you're a greedy cunt, Jibei. You're actually always going to kill. So this can work. I'm not saying it cannot work. But the problem with this kind of play is that this is the only way for Jibei to throw if he doesn't manage to kill them, right? And look how close this is. And what happens? Jibei dies. He died. I'm not saying this play couldn't have worked. It could have. It definitely could have worked. But why would you take this risk if you're already winning the game? This just throws your lead. And it's not about if the fact it's not about if the play works or not. It's about what are the chances of it working, right? That, that's the whole point. What are the chances? If if this play works 100 percent of the time, you just go kill them, obviously. If it works 80% of the time, well, you you can try it. But if it's like 60, say 40 or something, you don't want to take that risk. It's too risky for the reward. The reward is too small. It could have worked if it ultimate up, yes, it could have worked if you moved a bit different, if Kaylin played a little bit worse, or whatever, like, it could have worked, you know? But you don't need to make that play. Even if it worked, it wasn't gonna change the game. If it didn't work, it could change the game, because they're coming back, right? But killing those guys there wasn't gonna win you the game. And, and that's the whole thing, right? Um, it's not about always about the result the result isn't that important regardless if he won that play i'd still say he shouldn't have made it and you saw how close it was he could definitely have won it you know it, it, it was possible if you played a little better they played a little worse it would have worked it but even then it's not a play worth to make but i think one thing i think is good then i'm talking about games and analyzing i will generally say what i think before the result happens right and then you guys can see if i'm right most of the time or wrong as well um, the reason I think that is much better than knowing what happens is because if you know it, you're always going to be biased. Like, I would be biased in my opinions. The second I know how a play played out, I would already be thinking about it in a different way just because I've seen it, you know? Uh, let, let's say he one shot a Kaelin, I'd be like, holy shit, that was a great play, you know? But at the end of the day, it's not a play that's worth to do. He goes for Herald now. This is a good play. He should have taken it earlier, but nonetheless, this is the right call. It's a good play. Um... No much to talk about there. One thing I didn't know, talk about is he got a long shot here. He shouldn't be having this long shot. He really should not have this long shot. The thing is, he should be having a pink ward here. Pink ward would have been better. But this herald is good, very good. Going top is fine. There's a big wave. Go clean it. You want to slow push the first one and then have on the next one in. So don't clean it too fast. You better see what you do. You clean it really fast. You did not want to do this. This was a small mistake. You shouldn't have done it. You want to clean the next one now. You want to smash that one in. You're going to hard push this one as you're doing. Uh, it could have been safer. But at the end of the day, it ends up being the same result. It's just a bit riskier to do. And now you have options. You want to go either top. You want to go mid. You have a lot of options. You don't want to go alone here. You want to take the safe path if you're moving mid. If you're going aggressive, you want to stand over here so you can't get collapsed upon. Um, you don't want to stand up here alone, though. You should have moved mid. You should have moved mid. If you're standing, if you're staying top, should have moved mid here because the first wave is being killed. You don't need to stay up here anymore. You're staying too aggressive again, cleaning the waves. I want you to be further back. You're not applying any pressure by doing this. You're not actually doing anything by doing this. You're showing your whole hand. You're showing them what you're going to do. And they can read you easier, which is bad. It's not good to do it this way. Uh, what you should be doing is shove this way, clean it quickly, and go get the new buff. Just, just kill it. Just kill it. You can also go on Kaylin. You kill her now. She's dead. She fucked up. It's a free kill. This is a free kill. Good job, GB. Um, Kaylin shouldn't be able to get killed there. Kaylin's being a moron. Sona should be there to protect her. GB would die again if that happened. Uh, GB should take the blue buff here, I think. I'll, I'll be a greedy con and just take this blue buff. Because GB needs the mana. Um, I would definitely take that blue buff. There's no reason not to. Alright, let's see what he does. Keeps pushing. Keeps pushing. Use the herald. This is terrible. Don't use the herald in range of somebody who can stop you. John could have stopped you there. He might die for it, but at the end of the day, you would have lost Herald. You're going to get this tower anyways now. Um, if Jarman had died, you wouldn't have gotten this tower. So just put Herald in a little bit of a safer spot. If I was Jarman, I would have died to stop that Herald. I would have fucking died for that shit. And I even have... Jarman even got flashed, right? So you might be able to get out of it. Um, but Jeebus, she's playing a lot smarter already, right? Like, we cost him once, and we can already see that he's playing a lot smarter. With some of the things he's doing, because he did completely different before. Um... Let's see what he does now. So, top inhib is up. Baron is up. Jibe have teleport. Jibe should be on the bottom side of the map. If Jibe is greedy now, he takes a red buff. That's fine. He can push out mid as well. Take all that CS. Soak it all up. It's fine as well. 
But he should eventually move down towards the butt side. He doesn't have to rush there or anything. But pressure mid right now. Pressure mid right now. Pressure mid right now. GB, why are you going? Why are you going all the way? GB, don't go all the way to top lane. That is too far. This is way too far for you, dude. You don't want to be up here. You have no reason to be up here. Is this a fire dragon? It's a fire dragon. Next one. Speaking top is actually going to be okay, but you don't want to walk all the way to top lane. It's too far. Look at this distance he walked. He walked all this way just to get to the top lane. He could just take this juicy farm mid right here. Look at all the juicy money. Look at all this juicy money right there. Or move towards bottom and maybe influence the fight. Right now he ends up being alone in the top lane. He's not really thinking. He's just brain AFK and now he's dead. You don't want to put yourself in this situation right here. This is really bad. Um, like, there's no point being top lane. He's just... He's just basically moving in here for no reason. I told you go this way. That's if he's going to top. He shouldn't go top here, right? If he goes to top, he should move this way. Moving this way is generally better. Because then he, he can go top. He can go mid. He can do a lot of things. Going top here just doesn't make any sense. And I said before it happened, and he died, right? It's just one of those really derp and dumb plays. Mm. But, uh, but another day, he's all playing better. He kind of threw a little bit there. I don't know if he's still it or what he is. Um, I can't comment on that. Because I don't know, right? At the end of the day, he didn't use flash. He didn't use teleport. He's still fine. Same situation. Just delayed now. Go towards mid or bottom this time, GBA. Do it. Do it just like I told you. Mid or bot. Drake is up in 20 seconds. The main objective is to fight for that dragon. You have teleport up. You're ready to TP if you need to. You have a ward here. You have a ward here now. You're in a good position. GBA is running out for the dragon. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. Um... Walking through mid, it's fine. Nothing but wrong with that. It's really good. See what he does. See what our boy GB does. GB goes towards the dragon with the fat boy Gragas. He takes the plan. Oh, he doesn't take the plan. Oh, he just he just fucking runs around. He's like, I'm taking the butt farm Gragas. Dragon is yours. You do whatever the fuck you want with that one. I just want my gold bottom, and that's. I feel like. This is standard so okay, I think I would value the dragon higher and just get that dragon. But getting the farm, I wouldn't say is necessarily wrong. It's just not really a play I would want to do because I just want to secure the objective, right? Objective is key. Um, right now, they should go towards Baron as a team. They have nothing to do but side. GB can, however, stay bottom. He should stay bottom. He does have teleport. There's no reason for him to be at the Baron. But everybody else should be setting up the Baron. And you see GB just walking around, mindlessly walking back and forth. This this whole walking was pointless. And he could just get caught doing that. Um, being bottom here is good. This is all fine, all nice. Alright, let's see. So, GB is moving up a little bit again. This Ari doesn't need to make a play here. Nobody needs, This doesn't need to happen. This is bad from Ari, not from GB. GB is doing fine. Going up to Halbari, all of that good stuff. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. Look for a kill and GP. Look for a kill and GP. You're way stronger than him. You can easily kill this guy. Your team is doing Baron. Or look for the tower. Look for the tower is fine as well. Whatever he did here was going to be fine. He's strong enough to make any situation good there. So this is fine. Um, right. He's going to take the inhibitor. You don't need to focus on taking the inhibitor. Just focus on the pressure. So you don't want to fight. That was legit. This is risky as that. shit. You don't want to fight. And as I said, what happens? G bait ends up dying, right? This because he's focusing wrong. And uh, what G bait should do is just focus on getting the pressure down here. Get two people from the NMC bottom. Bam, you get Baron. The objective is not inhibitor. This is not the objective. The objective is Baron. This is the objective. Inhibitor is the bonus. It's like getting a paycheck, right? You get you get 5k mod. Let's say you get 5k mod. Whatever number, right? 5k mod. And then, if you do well, you get 6k, you know, you get a bonus of 1k. The 5k is what makes you live and survive. The 1k is what gets you to buy some fun. Also, thank you very much for the subscription, Mr. Infinity Source from Denmark. 16 months, dude. I appreciate it, man. Ah, uh, you want it to only be G-based decision? I can do that. I don't really mind either way. You can just look at GB. So he's, wa he's walked through mid now. Go back into bottom. He's been making the same mistake three times now. but Or two or three times, whatever. Go back into bot lane. Have his teleport up. Don't focus on getting the inhibitor. Focus on getting pressure. That's what you need to do. Get the pressure first. Inhibitor is a bonus. You don't need it. Having it is nice, but you don't need to focus on it so hard. Um, Just push in. 
If two people are bottom, you do nothing. If GP is bottom alone, you kill him. It's that simple, right? That simple. Inhibitor, you don't focus on taking it. Only when it's free. Inhibitor is only taking when it's free. Let's see what he does this time. Mr. GB boy. We are watching you. Dude, this is kind of creepy, you know. I'm just watching GB over the shoulder without him really knowing it. It's kind of creepy. I think it's, I think I'm being a creeper. And I kind of like it. Not gonna lie. Alright, so again, you walk up too far. You're being greedy. You're being really greedy. Then you're doing the right macro play. But you're doing it for the wrong reasons. You get Baron. It was secured regardless. You basically just ended up wasting your flash. You did not need to waste this flash. It was unnecessary. It was really unnecessary. Um, you could have done this exact same thing. Stop looking for the inhibitor. You don't need it. Just look for the pressure, GB. Look for the pressure. You don't need to sit down. It doesn't matter. Your team is not having pressure right now. Wait for them to have pressure and you just sit here and push. Sit here and push. Sit here and push. Just chill. Just straight up chill. Pushing, fine. Push the back line first. Oh, that's a bad mistake. You want to push the range creeps first, right? I can go over that so you guys can learn from it, right? It isn't a really specific thing as well. So here's the thing. If you're pushing and you want to be safe, what you do is... You kill these creeps first because you can queue back to these ones. By pushing these first and then queuing on these ones means you can't queue backwards anymore. So you don't have the distance going right. Imagine you go on these ones first. Down E queues you. Bam, you jump here. You're fine. But now imagine you do the opposite. You kill these creeps. Then you queue on this. Down and bam, EQ, you're dead. Uh, but that's basically the main difference. So you don't necessarily want to do it this way. This way was bad. Badly executed, bad mechanics, bad idea. Going for inhibitor again is bad. That's not your job. You don't lose health for it. You're still somewhat healthy, so it's fine. But you lost a bit too much health. You can go for GP, GP whenever you think you can kill him without him getting health. Right now is not that time. You go and kill him instead. You can one-shot her. Which works out really nice for you. Actually killing them 1v2. I do think this was really greedy. Uh, regardless of it working out, it's really greedy. And if you look for it, what is the result of this, right? His team isn't ready to help up on much of this stuff. And the only reason they win this fight is because they're 10,000 gold ahead. They win the fight because they're 10,000 gold ahead. But it's the wrong decision. Again, wrong decision. Don't care about the result too much. The result is not that important, in my opinion. But he won the game. It's good, right? He won the game. He played much smoother. Um, I still think his ideas mid to late game are lacking. He's focusing too much on what he's doing instead of what he needs to do, right? Like he's trying to do too much, which basically ends up making him do less. He's doing less because he's trying to do too much. What do you guys think about me doing this kind of stuff? Where I just watch 